Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to View and Terminal, or you can use Control tilde and we're going to say npm install at React Native. And I believe we need uh, oh React Navigation Native and at React Navigation Drawer. And of course we see we already have an error down here in our that's fine. Okay, so now we need to say npm install and we need react native gesture handler and react native reanimated. Oh, I need to put a dot and underscore right here. This needs to be a dash. Pardon me. React Native Gesture Handler and React Native Reanimate. Okay. Now, according to the documentation, we need to go to our index.ts. And we will just do... Import React Native Gesture Handler. Put that in there. And then according to the documentation, what we could do is we could come over here and say, in our app.tsx, we could say, yeah, it's got to bundle all this stuff, so it's not happy. That's all right. <clears throat> let's go up here and just temporarily, let's say const page one equals turn view text page one and we'll just do page two it's not being used so there's an error there that's fine we'll say page two page two and then we need to import a few things so we will import uh, create drawer navigator from at react navigation drawer and we'll import navigation container from at react navigation native and I spelled navigation wrong here <clears throat> and I spelled navigation wrong here okay so now down here in our app we're going to start off with a navigation container and then right above our app we'll say const drawer equals create drawer navigator and then here we'll say drawer dot navigator initial route name equals home drawer dot screen name equals home component equals page one and we'll say drawer dot screen name equals page two components equals page two. And we're gonna see if that does. So I'm gonna close the app over here on my Android device. 
and I'm going to close this metro out. Uh, we're not using styles, but that's alright. We could go over here and say, let's do this. Style equals styles.container. And we'll take the same style. And we'll put it up here in this guy. Just let everybody... Looks like they're kind of happy. We're going to close out this terminal. Come down here. Arrow up to do npm run android again. And this one's going to have to compile, react native, reanimate it. We're not using it yet, so it shouldn't blow up on us, I don't think. But I'm pretty sure that the navigation con components are at least using the gesture handler. Okay, so here what we forgot to do <clears throat> was add the um, Babel plugin. So what we will do, we will add the Babel plugin. So we'll go back to VS Code and go to Babel Config. What we need to do is right here say plugins react native reanimated plugin now the problem with this is that we usually will have to clear the cache so we're going to try this we're going to say npm run android yep i think we need to do dash dash reset get my cursor out of the way reset Cache. I'm going to try that one. Metro server is up and running. Make sure you close this out each time that you go through these little iterations because otherwise, you know, come up and be like, oh, Metro server is already running. Let's cross our fingers. So what we'll do is in the next video, we'll go ahead and look at workarounds and ways we can um, solve this problem.